Hi, this is Tatcha from Weight Loss Lab, brought to you by NobleWiki.com. In this video, I want to answer the question, how much weight loss after delivery? Before I continue please take a second to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of our awesome videos. And, after you've finished watching the video, don't forget to check out the link in the description for further information and a special free resource guide we've created just for you. I bet you, you will not find these types of free resources anywhere else. Let's get started. How much weight loss after delivery? It's no secret that pregnancy and childbirth can take a toll on a woman's body. But how much weight loss can a woman expect after delivery? There is no exact answer, as every woman is different. However, it is generally accepted that a woman can expect to lose around 10, 15 pounds immediately after childbirth. This weight loss is a result of the loss of fluid and tissue and is nothing to be concerned about. In the weeks and months following childbirth, a woman will continue to lose weight as her body returns to its pre-pregnancy state. For most women, this process takes around 6, 12 months. Depending on how much weight was gained during pregnancy, some women may take longer to lose all the excess weight. If you're concerned about your weight loss after delivery, be sure to talk to your doctor. They can help you set realistic goals and provide guidance on how to safely and effectively lose weight. What is baby weight? Here is some background information on baby weight, why it occurs during pregnancy, and why it won't be necessary once the kid is born. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, advises that healthy, weight pregnant women carrying one child should gain 25 to 35 pounds, 11.5 to 16 kilograms. Different weight gain recommendations are made for expecting women who are underweight, overweight, or carrying multiple kids. To find out your specific recommended weight gain, use the interactive calculators at the Institute of Medicine slash National Academies. Depending on your particular needs, your healthcare experts can provide different advice. Pregnancy weight gain includes these things, according to a study in the American Journal of Obstetrics and AMP Gynecology. The infant. Placenta. Pregnancy fluid. Bodily fluids blood, an enlarged uterus, excess fat reserves. The excess fat serves as a source of energy during breastfeeding and childbirth. However, gaining too much weight might lead to having too much fat. This is what is typically referred to as baby weight, and it happens frequently. According to the CDC, more than half of all pregnant women gain more weight than is advised. The following are the effects of carrying some of this additional weight after giving birth. Greater likelihood of getting overweight. Increased risk of heart disease and diabetes. Problems are more likely to occur during pregnancy. Women with gestational diabetes face greater health risks. How much weight do you lose after giving birth? Knowing where your pregnancy weight gain actually originates will be important before you begin your weight loss quest. Yes. Your ice cream cravings can be a factor, but you might not need to drop as much weight as you believe. For instance, your baby contributes about 7 to 8 pounds to your weight gain, with the remaining pounds coming from your larger breasts, up to 3 pounds, uterus, up to 2 pounds, placenta, up to 1.5 pounds, amniotic fluid, up to 2 pounds, blood volume, up to 4 pounds, fluid volume, up to 3 pounds, and fat reserves, up to 3 pounds, 6 to 8 pounds. Your pre-pregnancy body mass index, or BMI, and whether you are expecting a singleton or multiples play a role in the amount of weight gain that is recommended for you to acquire throughout pregnancy. Many additional factors, such as overall health status and lifestyle decisions like participating in prenatal activity and adhering to a healthy pregnancy diet might affect how much weight you actually acquire throughout pregnancy. It's best to consult your healthcare practitioner about how much weight you should acquire throughout pregnancy and how much weight you should shed thereafter because every person's circumstances are different. How long does it take to lose weight after pregnancy? Within six months to a year after giving birth, many women who acquired the correct amount of weight during pregnancy find they can get back to their pre-pregnancy weight which experts say is a reasonable aim. 
But that's only a guess because everyone's chronology is different in the end. For example, it could take longer to recover if you put on more weight than is advised while you were pregnant, between 10 months and 2 years. Also keep in mind that even when you achieve that well, known weight on the scale, your body might not still look exactly the same. After giving birth, some women observe that their bellies are softer, their hips are wider, or their breasts are smaller, especially if they breastfed. And that's perfectly fine. It's incredible. The remarkable physical feat of growing your child and delivering her into the world has resulted in all these changes, and they should be honored. Does breastfeeding help you lose weight? Breast milk production requires your body to burn between 400 and 500 calories each day, which come from both your diet and the fat you accumulated during pregnancy. Some mothers can simply use the increase in calorie burning to assist them to return to their pre-pregnancy weight. Additionally, breastfeeding encourages the release of hormones that aid in uterine and postpartum belly reduction. What foods should be in your post-baby diet? No matter how eager you are to fit back into your pre-pregnancy clothes, you shouldn't even consider dieting until your kid is at least six weeks old or older since your body needs enough rest and nourishment to recover from delivery, ward off infection, and feed your baby. Ensure you're still eating enough calories if you feel ready to begin a post-baby diet and your doctor has given the go ahead. Not only is crash dieting dangerous for you, breastfeeding mothers who don't consume enough calories cause their bodies to produce less milk, which forces your hungry, developing child to join you on a diet. You can follow the same guidelines for good eating as you did during your pregnancy, whether you're breastfeeding or not while picking foods to support your weight loss. Fill up on nutritious foods that will keep you full and cut back on empty, calorie snacks. Aim for reasonable serving sizes of meals like vegetables and fruits. Take your pick. Fresh or frozen are both excellent options. Whole grains. Consider oatmeal, brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat bread and pasta. Healthy protein. Fish and shellfish with low mercury levels, chicken, lean red meat, eggs, tofu, and beans or legumes are also healthy options. Low fat dairy. Try milk, cheese, yogurt that is plain, or cottage cheese. Wholesome fats. Consider olive oil, avocado, almonds, and seeds. When can you start exercising after giving birth? Your weight loss attempts can be supported by exercise, which will also provide you with a much needed energy boost. So it's important to exercise when your body is ready. If you exercised before becoming pregnant and had a straightforward vaginal delivery, it is okay to begin gentle exercise a few days after giving birth. Before starting physical exercise again, you might need to wait at least six weeks if you underwent a C-section or birth difficulties. However, it's better to wait until your doctor has given the all clear before beginning. This is where we will call it a wrap for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok. We will also appreciate and respond if you leave us a comment below to tell us what you think. If you found this video helpful, please, do well to click the share button so that others can benefit as well. Keep your eyes on our channel Weight Loss Lab for daily exciting, informative and educative videos. Until next time, have a nice day!